Cash, Moolah, Simoleons, Doe, Scratch, Cheddar, Stacks, Bank, Coin. Money makes the world go round, you see, and Equestria is no different. Society is built upon the exchange of goods and services, occupations and functionality. Even in an idealized equine world, there's a measurement of value, stored in a commodity for easy transference and record keeping. This is known as a currency. The chosen currency for the pastel-colored horses is bits. Therein lies yet another poignant question for the ages, one that we here at Blue Horse Industries shall attempt to answer. I did not make this, by the way. This is real. Apparently it's a granite manufacturing company. I thought it was hilarious and wanted to share. And that question is, what is a bit? Let's break out old reliable. You know how this old song and dance goes. My homeboy Webster defines a bit as the biting or cutting edge or part of a tool. Nope. The part of a key that enters the lock and acts as the bolt and tumblers. Nuh-uh. Something that curbs or restrains. No. The usually steel part of a bridle inserted in the mouth of a horse. Holy jabroni and matrimony, I just discovered there's a page too. A bit can be defined as a coin of a specified denomination. Well, thank you, Miriam Webster, for that piece of information. We have since learned two distinct facts. One, a bit is a coin, which we already knew. Well, duh. And two, all ponies are canonically British. So we know a bit is Equestria's form of money. That's all well and good, but we have no basis as to the value of a bit. The definition clearly states there is a specified denomination, yet we do not know what that denomination is. So let's see if we can find out. Now I'm no economist. I mean, yeah, that's true. I'm not. Oh right, the question. Uh, here's what we do know. Twilight pays 28 bits in late fees for an overdue library book. One bit is the price for one bushel of asparagus. Two bits is slightly too much for a tomato, but 12 bits is outrageous for a cherry. Four silver bits is the price for a balloon ride, and it's the only time silver bits appear in the show. Griffins use bits in Griffinstone, so it seems as though the bit is a unified currency, even in other nations outside Equestria similar to how the euro functions for Europe. With these equations in mind, if we do the math here, with the currency exchange rate back to when all these samples were taken, factoring in the price of inflation in the 2020 global recession, we come to find the value of a bit is predicted to be the value of a Bitcoin, in that no one has any fucking idea. What the hell is even that? Not only does no one have any idea, no one can have any idea. By all accounts, the equestrian economy should have collapsed five seasons ago, because the wrench in the system that brings the entire Dow horse and Nasdaq crumbling to the ground is this little gremlin right here. You heard me right. Spike the dragon broke the value of the bit. You see, bits are not the only accepted currency in Equestria. Vendors and business owners accept crystals as payment, which completely demolishes the value of a monetary system because... Dragons eat crystals. Not only am I not an economist, I'm also not a lawyer. Now, according to the US code, it is a crime to alter, deface, mutilate, impair, diminish, falsify, scale, or lighten coins or currency. Basically anything to affect the scarcity of the commodity. Well, I assert that eating the shit may qualify as that. Through the transitive property, if bits are accepted as currency and crystals are also accepted as currency, dragons eating crystals is the equivalent of digesting the cornerstone of the goddamn economy. But don't worry, supply decreasing isn't even that big of a problem because... Crystals can be found in the ground. Remember this horse? She has a spell that can find crystals in the ground. She was nearly trafficked by canine spelunkers because she is a money magnet. That's right, Fashion Horse is also queen of inflation. Do not take that out of context. The value of the bit plummets the more that she puts these gems into circulation. But I can hear what you're saying. Blue Horse, how is that any different than panning for gold? B because horse magic, that's why. But you know what, that actually pales in comparison to the next financially apocalyptic event that occurred right at the end of Season 4. Ponyville grew a castle of crystals. 
That's right, you know the metaphor about building a house made of stacks and stacks of cash? They're the same picture. This thing is quite literally made of money, and Flamethrower here tries to eat it. But you know what could possibly be worse than a castle made of the equivalent of bits? How about an entire province? The Crystal Empire is King Midas's wet dream. The ground, the infrastructure, the flora, the fauna, the citizens of this principality are living, breathing piles of legal tender. Let's set the record straight here. Sombra was not only a tyrannical monster, he was also the 0.01%. Dude wanted to hoard the wealth of nations, countries, continents even, because it's not just a weird crystal fetish that he has. He's dreaming night and day about money. Filthy rich, step your motherfucking game up. You ain't got nothing on the king here. So in a nutshell, we have an internationally accepted currency widely interchangeable with a commodity that is a food staple for one nation that has no known total value in circulation because it could spawn out of the ground seemingly at random that also acts as the building blocks for all living and non-living matter of a sovereign empire. Celestia, or Twilight, or whoever is running Equestria at this point, you need to get a handle on this pending financial crisis. It's a ticking time bomb, and it won't be long until this thing hits. And it won't be a recession, it's gonna be a straight up retreat. I'm talking about surrender, white flags, market implosions, and finally, guillotines. Holy... fucking shit. Fiscal Armageddon is knocking at your door, horses, so you better do something fast. In conclusion... What is a bit is a goddamn clusterfuck.